Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're going to be launching our own Bastion using Azure Bastion Services. So there's two ways to set this up. We can go to Bastions over here uh, and create a Bastion this way, or we can create one uh, after we've created a virtual machine. I prefer the latter, so let's go ahead and do that and launch ourselves a new virtual machine. And so we could either use a, launch a Windows server or a Linux server. Today, I'm going to be launching a Windows server. And uh, what we'll do is go down here. I'll make a new group. We'll call it the Enterprise. And uh, as we do that, we'll just name this uh, Enterprise D. And we'll launch that in Canada, cent or US, or <laughs> Central US. That's fine with me. Uh, 2019 Data Center Gen 2 is totally fine. If you go here, you're trying to find it, you go, hit Select and we'll choose Gen 2 data center. It is expensive, but uh, we're not gonna be using this for very long. Uh, for the username, I'm gonna put uh, data. And for the, well, we'll just make it Azure user to make our lives a bit easier. And then we'll put testing, capital T, one, two, three, four, five, six. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we will go down below. We're fine with the settings here. We're gonna go next to disk. We're gonna leave the disk to premium, that's fine. Uh, we'll let it create a new network, that's totally fine. Management is okay, and we'll just actually go hit review and create. And now we'll just hit create so that it will go ahead and do that. It'll tell us that it's in progress. And we'll just wait a little bit here. I'll see you back in a moment. All right, so our instance is ready. So let's go ahead and go to this resource here. And then on the left-hand side, you'll have connect. And so I'm gonna show you, and you don't, it's not necessary for you to do uh, this step because you're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to connect via the Bastion. But I'm gonna go ahead and download this file, the RDP file. And this will only work if you're on Windows, by the way. Well, I guess it'll work on Mac, but you'd have to install the, um, uh, the, uh, RDP uh, service for that uses with Windows there. And so here, this is Azure user. We're gonna type in testing with a capital T, just double check that there. I'm gonna log in, make sure that this works. Uh, do, we'll do that one more time. Oh, you know, it's testing one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We'll say yes. And we'll just make sure that we can uh, remote desktop into this just before anything else. And there we go, so that's all good to me. I don't need to see any more. We'll go over to Bastion, we'll say use Bastion. And this is gonna set up a Bastion service. In order to use Bastion, you need to have another um, uh, address space uh, defined for it. It makes it really easy to uh, make it here. So I'm just gonna go 10.0.1.0 forward slash 24. And we'll go ahead and hit okay. And so down below, it's gonna choose an address space. Uh, we have a net security group. Um, I'm just gonna put it for none. I don't think I want one on that. And uh, if we scroll on down here, we have the resource group. So we're gonna put it in the same resource group and we'll go ahead and create that. So now before this, they didn't have this really nice wizard. You used to have to go and, and create all those things individually in your virtual network, but this is really nice. It does take a bit of time for this to provision. So I'll see you back here in a bit. That took a bit of time for that to create that bastion, but it is ready to go. And so now that we have it, we can go ahead and utilize uh, this connection here. And so right away, it, I think it's setting up for RDP here. So what we'll do is type in Azure user uh, and then capital T testing one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go ahead and hit connect. And so notice that I didn't have to use an external application. I could just uh, run it in right here. It's all in the web browser. So that's pretty much how uh, the Bastion works. I can't remember the pricing on Bastion. I think it's a little bit of money, so I don't want to keep this uh, laying around here, but this is great if you, let's say you're on a Chromebook, which are becoming really popular, where you can't install native applications, uh, or you're just having issues because you're on like Linux or something like that. So there you go, that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and clean this up. And so I'm just gonna go here, find the resource group, and we'll go ahead and delete. I'm just making sure that Bastion's within there. So it is good. And there we go.